what we're seeing is that the effects of climate change are everywhere. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to go to the North Pole or the South Pole or even to a small island state yeah. to experience and see what climate change is causing. Okay, yeah. And in fact, the science, which, you know, I'm a social scientist, but I work with the, the findings from my colleagues over in the natural sciences. But the natural science is very clear at this point. Climate shocks, which are climate change exacerbated extreme events in the forms of drought, extreme flooding, heat waves, uh, all sorts of extreme storms. Yeah. I mean, we yeah. just saw this storm that devastated Jamaica and I believe yes. is in the process of devastating Cuba. Yeah. Um, but these things are are climate shocks. Now mm -hmm. they are climate change exacerbated. And in fact, some of my collaborators have done some work to talk about how we can attribute a certain percentage to of these extreme events to climate change. And that's what makes them a climate shock. So that they're much, much worse. And the science says very clearly that because of increasing concentrations of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, we are going to see more of these types of climate change exacerbated extreme events. They're going to come more frequently and they're yes. going to hit with more severity, which is exactly what we're seeing. We're seeing it all over the world. There are many, many examples of it. And what that means is that society will experience the effects of this. And mm -hmm. that is in the, you know, for example, this year, the cost of climate shocks is much more than ever before. Insurance mm -hmm. in all of these areas that are at risk has gone way up. Mm -hmm. People, lives lost due to extreme heat and wildfire and drought and floods and other types of extreme storms mm -hmm. is way up. In fact, there was just a study that came out like two days ago saying that the number of people who have died due to extreme heat has gone up substantially in the past 20 years and it's due to climate change. Yeah. Um, all of this is about climate shocks. And the problem is that until we start to take the climate crisis seriously. And when I mean taking it seriously, I mean we actually change our behaviors and start to mitigate against these effects. We need to be prepared and we need to be adapting, which is what, you know, in a lot of ways, I think that what Bill Gates is talking about here, but if we only focus on adaptation without addressing what's causing the climate crisis, it's just gonna get worse and worse. And all of these areas that are in lowlands or on coastal areas, um, all of these areas that experience extreme heat, many of them will desertify. We will, you know, we will have mass migration and it will not be capable, you know, we will not as a society, you know, globally be able to handle this without huge amounts of lives lost. 